30 years ago to the day on this pilgrimage, on this first Sunday in September 1989, Marion Carroll was healed. My name is Marion Carroll. I'm married to Jimmy. Um, I have two children, Cora and Anthony. My five grandchildren are Chantal, Faith, Bethany, James and Ben. So every mother and grandmother have such a great love for their children. And the beauty of it all is that these are all blessings from Jesus and Mary. In 1985, I started going downhill slowly. I wasn't worried about it. There was nothing they could do for me. But in early 87, I lost the power in both of my legs. After that, I had to get the catheter in because I had no control over my bladder and my kidneys were giving trouble. Jimmy took care of me all the years I was sick and always made everything special. Um, there was never anything left out because I couldn't do it. And one day Jimmy was home and when he came in, he left the two cups of coffee on the table and I started to drink his own. And I said, Jim, you never handed me the coffee. He said, no, Mar, if you think that I'm going to be your servant for the rest of our life, you have another thing coming. Of course, I got mad with him. I decided he didn't want me because I was like this. And I decided I didn't need him. So after that day, I started doing things for myself, dressing myself and things like that. But it was a year after when I learned to cope with the illness. After that, I lost complete power in my right arm and hand, and I only had limited power in the left. I was completely blind in the right eye and very little sight in the left eye. My speech was badly affected. The muscles in my throat were affected. To eat, the food had to be cut up very small or liquidized, and to drink was a plastic beaker with a lid and a straw. All that had to be given to me. I had to wear a collar to support my neck and head, and eventually I had to wear pad and diapers because I had no control over my bowels. But the following Sunday then I went to knock. But the Saturday before I went to knock, I'd come to a crossroads in my life. I couldn't go forward, I couldn't go backwards, I couldn't go sideways. I knew I was going to die, and I had been praying, asking Jesus and Mary to let me live long enough to see Cora and Anthony out of their teenage years, because they're the hardest years of our children's lives. And I knew I was not going to see this, and I did not want to go to knock. I just wanted to stay and be with my family. Sunday morning on the 3rd of September, Jimmy got me ready. Jerry came out with the ambulance. They strapped me into the stretcher. When we got to Knock Shrine, they brought the stretcher into St. John's, the resting care for the sick. They brought me into the nurse and she'd done all the things you do for a person in my position. But eventually they brought me over to the Basilica at Knock. And when they brought me over to the Basilica at Knock, first of all, they were going to put me to the right of the altar. Then they were going to put me to the left but they put me in the centre, right under the statue of Our Lady of Knock. And I realised something. This is where I wanted to be, right under her altar in Knock. When I looked up at that statue of Our Lady of Knock, I thought it was the most beautiful, most friendliest statue that I ever seen in my life. After he anointed me, I got restless. Um, I think it was my brain was coming back. I couldn't remember things, you know, I'm very bad at remembering things, but all of a sudden I remember things. And then he was giving his homily about the Holy Father being in Ireland 10 years before that. And I started thinking about that day. I was the only invalid around who was forgotten to be brought to knock. It was such a special day there in Clamac Noise. I was thinking about that. And then when it came to the consecration of Mass, it's very hard to explain this feeling. But for me, the consecration was always very, very special. But it was, when it came to that, all of a sudden I got very, very restless. But I received Holy Communion from my bishop. And after I received Holy Communion, I got a very bad pain in both of my heels, which was very unusual. Now, it was due to get my painkillers, but because of the beaker, the lid and the straw, I decided to wait. Up to that day, I received a tiny little piece of the host with a lot to drink. That day, I received a full host with nothing to drink. Also, that pain that came on my heels, that pain went. And when that pain went, every pain in my body went with it. But it was actually when my bishop came down with the Blessed Eucharist and the Monstrance 
and he came in front of the stretcher and he held it up and he blessed me. It was at that time that I got this beautiful feeling, a magnificent feeling, and like a whispery breeze telling me that if the stretcher was open, that I could get up and walk. 30 years ago to the day on this pilgrimage, on this first Sunday in September 1989, Marion Carroll was healed. I recognize that Marion was healed from her long-standing illness while on pilgrimage in this sacred place. Without doubt, there was a healing, a cure of the illness that beset Marion for many years. It is definite, yet it defies medical explanation. Today, we acknowledge the Lord's work through the intercession of Mary.